Hey everyone, it's Amateur, and today I have another project for you guys for the Paper Cakes design team. Now that is Paper Cakes by Serena B. Um, I will leave, of course, the description in the um, the description in the. I will leave the information and link to in the description. Yes, it's been a long day, you guys. So. Um, what it is, is these are some digital papers, and these are a Valentine's themed one, more of a, like love, and it's called Love Bites. So it could be used for all sorts of things, and I want in this week we're doing um, something sweet, the theme is something sweet. So um, the only thing that I could just possibly want, like, whenever I want a sweet, I want donuts, hence why I'm so fat. But um, I, a, I wanted to make a donut banner, and um, lately I haven't been crafting a lot, I've been a little tired, I've had a... A little injury in here and there and um but i'm slowly getting back in the swing of things so i wanted to something to like kind of lift me up so something that will kind of inspire me at the same time and to show you how you can use this and it doesn't have to be for valentine's day theme it doesn't have to be for love or you know your significant other it could be just for anything for a friend and um so this is what i did now let me show you um i used all of the Almost all of the images from the 8x8 paper collection, and the cool part is for the Love Bites collection and the, her other collection that she has at the moment, you can actually purchase either the papers or the embellishments or the journaling cards separate or all together, and if you purchase them together, you get a free um, little mini collection, so that's super awesome. And I used images, I mean, um, of papers from the whole thing. Now, I was going to put embellishments on it, like um, some of the elements, but I decided not to because... I um I wanted just the donuts to show through. I wanted it just to be a simple, like just a direct to the point. Here's the inspirational words um that I wanted to make. So I went ahead and I used this cut file. I used my cameo to cut it. Now it's this one. It's donuts, and I honestly, truth be told, I try to find it. I don't know where I got this. Um, <laughs> and this is what it ends up looking like. It's basically the bases, the base, the 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 the. the um, the glaze or the chocolate and here's the one that has a bite out of it with the sprinkles as well so i am not even certain where i got that i just checked the silhouette store and it's not in there so i'm not sure if i got it from miss k cuttables or i have no idea but anyway this is what i did i went ahead and i just cut this in craft cardstock because i cu cut it in like an ivory cardstock and it wasn't really showing off the papers like i wanted to originally i was going to do black donuts um but then i was afraid it was gonna look like a black hole instead of like a donut so and um what i did was on the cut file of the glaze with the topping I went ahead and I just imported the pattern of the papers so once again this is and let me show you I have my trash can right here next to me um I went ahead and I did the print and cut which is probably overkill but I couldn't help myself and all I did was in the I just filled in the section of the donut that I was going to use it. So that is all the ink that I used. I didn't have to print like a, a the whole 8x8, which is everybody's usual misconception. Um, and I just did a portion of the part that I was going to use. Now with the letters as well, all I did was just print up, did the print and cut for the letters. As you can see, these letters right here for the ones that I was going to need. And I only printed, I imported the pattern to the the font as well so you could do that with the font not just with shapes on the silhouette cameo and here are the several here's several of the image here i'll do this one because i feel like that one looks like a vampire mouth so like look it looks like a vampire mouth like <sighs> but anyway um you could tell i work graveyard there's that one this one and they're all and these are extra ones i did i went ahead and i just made a whole bunch because i want i went ahead and i, I made four of each one of each of the patterns so i have some left over now this also means that i get to do another banner for a friend of um of maybe the same thing of don't give up or there was i couldn't decide between don't care or don't care don't give up or i don't know but i can make a whole other one as a gift for a friend which i plan on doing and and the reason i wanted to do it to say don't I give up, like I said, it was to give me a little bit of inspiration. And hence why I also made the donuts in craft instead of just like a cream. Because it wasn't really showing this off, but I felt like this was kind of pushing me back towards my craft roots, you know? So let me show you the banner. And I went ahead and I just put it on some teal, some aqua, and white twine. And here are the the letters, the donuts. So and the cool thing is through the... Um, 
through if it has a letter with a with the open in it it will go right through the donut and I went ahead and I positioned the bite the bitten donuts on several different ones in a different position to, to let it to make it go um, have like more of a diverse look on it so and also the this pattern with the little hearts the mini hearts that one is actually one of the patterns of the eight by I think this one is from the mini collection but I wanted to use this so it was the white so it looks like little dots, like you know, you do how they do like the um, enlarged prints of like old comics or whatever, but they're actually little hearts. So, and as you can see, the O is upside down, but and it says donut, and I used one of these plain ones for the space, and of course this one I used my favorite paper, which is the one with the lollipops, and here's the give. Another space one into these. It looks like they're they're about to attack. See, Arr. they look like mouths. Um, and this one is the up. So it's just plain and simple. You guys can easily whip it up. Now, if you do not have your cameo, you can easily um, print up. Like, let's say you want your donuts to be four by four inches. These are three and a half by three and a half. Um, you can easily just print, uh, print out the papers in three and a half or four size instead of having to print the whole eight by eight and then cut it. And you can either die cut it or you can just use, literally just use your plain old circles. Um, circle cutter or easier yet just do I have a scratch paper I know I had a scratch paper here somewhere I thought I had a scratch paper here somewhere so that those are the uh, how things go awry let me see okay so let's try this again so like let's say you really don't need it come on you guys um, I actually have a um, a tutorial on my channel just look up paper donuts all you have to do oop, is make a circle probably better than that one and then just easy easy just cut it out And of course, you would make the part where you have your line on the back of the donut. So, like, let's say you have your two pieces, and then you have this one layered. All you have to do is just do a little swirly action, and then cut the inside. And there you have your icing. So easy peasy. You do not need super duper complicated machinery. You do not need your cameo and everything. You can easily do it by just cutting out circles, cut out a circle in the middle, and you are set to go. And then just print the papers in the size that you want. Or if you want to use the journaling cards, those are already set down to 4 by 6 So even super, super easier for you to have that, um, have it done that way. So yeah. But here is the little thingy again. I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures, probably include a little video here. I'm going to hang it in my craft room over um through my mason jar lights it's like a string of lights little mason jars on it um to just have it hanging on there so that way you know it'll just give me a little inspiration every time i come into my craft room so yes but those that is what i wanted to share with you guys today um so just please check out serena's shop it is paper cakes also follow her on instagram i will have all the links in the description and just a little heads up she is also working on a little collection for or i think she's working on several collections for easter so if you want to um if you want to know about that just stick around and of course we will show that to you guys i can't wait to see what cutie booty little gothy kind of um little uh bunny she's going to make or what she's going to make for easter but that is something that she's working on right now so i'm super excited because i love bunnies i love easter and that's because they're cutesy would say used to have bunnies when i was a little kid but um so yeah that would be the next thing and i just want to show you like i said i wanted to show you something how to use this and it doesn't have to be just for valentine's day because we know valentine's day is long gone and this way you can still use it for anything you want as a decorative piece all right so thank you guys for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.